I'm Lewis Amistoy with the Preston Enterprise and PE.com. I'm here in Hemet at Hemet Ryan Airport where CAL FIRE is giving a tour today to the media for its air tanker base here. Now this facility has been an air tanker base of some sort for more than 50 years. First off as a federal air base and now operated by CAL FIRE. We talked to Mike Venable, one of the veteran pilots who basically grew up here at the airport, about his role and the importance of aerial firefighting in California. Well, a lot of people will tell you it's the natural resources, it's the pollution in the air from the smoke. Um, there's a lot of issues out there on pe how people gauge the success of why we fight fire from the air and why the state has such an aggressive initial attack program. Um, the initial attack program that the state currently enjoys here is very expensive for the taxpayers, but we do have a 95% success ratio, and we do keep 90% uh, of our fires under five acres. So even though the public does see these giant fires, sometimes you need to you need to make the distinction between is it a forest service, is it a state, is it a Bureau of Land Management? You have many agencies out there fighting fires. When it comes to state resource area, the state of California's air program is the most modern and largest in the world which is I think an important fact that uh, the state of California has an aviation program for forest and wildlife preservation larger than many countries military fleets. Um, and I think that's why here in the state we are as successful as we are on the initial attack side of fighting uh, wildland fires. The, the current fleet for CAL FIRE today is 23 of these airplanes we're standing in front of here. They're called an S-2. They were originally designed as a, as a training platform or an anti-submarine warfare aircraft. They would haul sauna buoys, drop them in the water, have a big antenna. They'd look for the submarines, and some of them actually carried a torpedo in the bomb bay. And uh, they were originally came with piston radial engines. The state of California have taken these aircraft and updated them into the, a modern system, a modern turboprop engine, uh, avionics, hydraulics, uh, and that kind of stuff. So they're, they're a quite modern airplane. The state's got 23 of these. They've got 13 OV-10s for an air attack platform, and they're currently running nine UH-1 Huey helicopters uh, for their helicopter fleet. All right, well, I'm on the flight line here at the Hemet Ryan Airport, and you can see the air tankers lined up and ready to go, and this is a fully operational day for them after some really record heat. Uh, the fire conditions are right, and of course, historically, the big fires in Southern California have been in October and in November, so this is a prime conditions now for a big fire. What's important about having this base here? Well, Hemet's strategically located very well, as you can see the, the surrounding. And because of the urban interface and all the buildup here in Southern California, we've got more and more houses being built. At any rate, uh, so the initial attack of the state's program is becoming more and more important simply because we've got more people moving into the areas that are prone to brush fires. For the Press Enterprise, I'm Lewis Amistoy reporting from Hemet.